Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm going to be doing a studio vlog, so come along with me in a week in my life. Guys, I think I've decided that this vlog's just going to be like a car vlog. Nah, I'm joking. I'm just always in the car when I'm talking to you. Anyway, today is Friday. I've had a very busy day. This morning, we moved out my wheel to the new studio because I have a class tomorrow. Also, this is me, my partner, when I say we. We did that, then what did we do? We came back, I had lunch, then we went to the shops. Today is obviously Friday, so it's Black Friday. So it was very busy, but there were things that I needed to get for the studio. I'm on my way to the studio now to drop that stuff off, get it all set up for my class tomorrow. So that is very exciting also the studio that i um have my studio in there is an artist doing a art exhibition and the opening is tonight she's gonna have her artworks in the gallery section over the weekend but she's having the opening tonight which is very exciting so i thought i would go right now i'm going to drop my stuff off and then i'll stick around because they've got nibbles drinks live music and i can take a look at the art so if you're new to my channel, I actually only signed the lease to this studio a few weeks ago, so I haven't even done any work or any classes in it yet. I got a bunch of stuff today to complete off the studio, which I got stuff like this whiteboard to track all of my classes. I also got some storage bins and I got some really cute plants, of course. I had my first private class the next day, so I also had to make sure I had everything ready for that. is at the exhibition which was really cool i actually just went through i'm currently just trying to lower the legs of my table because it was a little bit unstable so i have to like twist them and it's like very tiring So this ended up being my first private class and it was actually so good. I give an option of whether you want to do wheel throwing or hand building in my private classes and on this class Katie chose to do a wheel throwing class and she ended up doing such an amazing job. It was her first time on the wheel and I was just so proud of her. At the end of every class I let my students pick two pieces that they've made and then I'll glaze and fire it for them so they can take it home. So Sunday ended up being my off day. I didn't really do anything other than go and have lunch with my family and it was just such a nice way to relax. stay back a little late because my manager was running late which was fine so it's now two o'clock i am heading to the studio right now to check on the pieces that were done during my class on saturday and i will trim them and attach a handle if they're ready to go today if not then i will do that tomorrow so i'm gonna head off now i am tired but that's okay I'm going to just push through the day as you have to do anyway.
okay so when I got in there the pieces were a little bit too dry I just kind of wet them a little which is not great but I had to do it but it ended up being fine I was able to trim them and I touched the handle like I showed you guys and now I'm off I'm gonna go home possibly going to the beach with a friend now and then I've got dinner with the fam tonight <laughs> two and a half hours and my whole body is so sore um i also i went to the studio afterwards to wet sponge all of my pieces that have dried and to take them to the studio to get fired like they're bis firing and i got there and they were like oh, we're not taking any firings until like anything to be fired until monday and it's tuesday so i have to wait a whole week I was like, are you serious? I just don't have the time for that. I need to get my stuff fired. I need to get stuff done, especially it's like right before Christmas, which means I need to get all this stuff done for Christmas. Like all these markets that I have coming up. I'm like, I can't. I'm just annoyed. Kind of just wanted to show you guys that this is just stuff that happens with small business, stuff that you just can't control. And it's annoying, but you kind of just have to accept that it happens and move on and that's what i'm trying to do so i picked up the pieces that i was going to drop off i've just dropped them off at my like workshop studio because i don't want them in the car for the next week i've got a marker coming up and also it was just like they're so fragile i don't want them in the back that would definitely get damaged so i've dropped them off and now i'm going to go home because i am sore and i'm tired and i just don't think i can do anything because i'm just sad <laughs> <laughs> 